On Thursdays in the library, that I must give two dozen eager third graders come for their weekly reading the lesson. The fox went off a rent. Haley picked a book about a mischievous fox. But I got tackled a lot. Dalen decided to read about sports. And Patrick is going to read a classic that's been around for generations. He decided Abby would like to hear it today. Abby, the Shetland Shepherd dog here on the mat. She usually prefers fiction. The name of the story is Ca Caps for Sale. These kids pick a book and then pick a dog to read to. <laughs> How is reading to a dog different than reading to a person? That dogs don't stop in the middle of the story. She listens and they pay attention to your stories. She does. Better than people? Yeah. <laughs> in our eagerness as, as teachers and parents, to make sure that they're reading just right. Sometimes we interrupt more than we should. Marlene Vall runs the Reading to Dogs program at Beacon Elementary. Then a bunch of gray caps. Once a week, 20 kids, 20 dogs, 20 volunteers. Many of them retired teachers themselves. Do you like reading? Yeah. By yourself ever? Not really. Not really? <laughs> Patrick told me reading to dogs at school once a week gave him an idea of something to do at home read to dogs there too. I think it made my skills go higher when I read the dogs because now I learn, uh, since I learned that you could read the dogs, I think it's more funner and stuff. And you think and you're a better reader? Yeah. This is a story they hope will have a happy ending, even if it's sometimes a little slobbery. On your birthday.